What is up guys, today I'm gonna be challenging myself to build a Shopify store from scratch within just 72 hours and I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get a couple hundred dollars profit. I'll catch you guys in the video. So guys, basically what I'm gonna be doing from scratch is finding a winning product, then building a website for that winning product, the store, a Shopify store, then going ahead and finding or creating an ad for that product, and then launching hopefully a Facebook campaign the same day. And yes, I'll be running Facebook ads for this product because you know I would be taking the easy way out if I was to just you know launch an influencer campaign. Maybe I would get some sales, in those 72 hours, but it wouldn't be a biz business which is created because maybe the next day I won't be able to find an influencer or the day after that, you know, I will no longer have a running automated business. So I'm going to be launching with Facebook ads, which is much harder to actually generate sales within the first 72 hours. And if my product isn't a winner, then basically what I'm going to do is test and find a new product. And I only have 72 hours to do so. And within 72 hours, if I can't find a winning product, um, maybe this challenge will last even longer. But with that being said, right now it's 8.14 in the morning. What we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna head straight into the product research. I hopefully can find some products, and if I can, then um, we'll see what happens. We're gonna build the store together. I'll catch you guys later. So guys, I think we found a winning product. I'm not sure how much I wanna sell this for, but basically what I did was, I went to AliExpress, I went to the camping niche because that one works pretty well for me. I filtered it by most orders. Then I made sure the product cost, the amount AliExpress is selling for, is from $30 to $100, so I could just see the high ticket items. And I found this product right here. The product cost is $60. I wanna be at least at 66% margins, so I'll be launching it at, uh, I think to start off, just to make sure I'm getting sales within 72 hours, I'm gonna launch it at $100. $75, right, or $200, I need to decide. Right, the margins aren't the best, but this is what I need to do to make sure I get sales from Facebook right away. I automatically recognize that this is, you know, a family niche, an outdoor niche, or um, even camping. And I've also scrolled all the way down and I made sure that there's a sale from today. Yeah, I'm not today, but there's a sale a couple days ago in September, September 8th. Right, this is good enough for me. That means people are still buying this product. And what I really like is all these photos, just content I could use to build a nice Shopify website. So I have a winning product. I'm gonna go ahead into Shopify and build an actual new store from scratch. I'll catch you guys after that. So guys, I finished building the Shopify website. It looks pretty good to me. Uh, I uploaded some filler products as well, even though I mostly stick to one product stores because I still don't know what I will be testing. I don't know if my product will be a winner from scratch. So I uploaded some other products on there as well, which I thought were winners. So I have about five products on my store right now, three of them, which I'm considering testing. What I need to do is I need to either create an ad or steal an ad. What I usually do is I actually go on Facebook, search the product name. If it's getting orders on AliExpress, then probably it um, has a some type of ad running out there. And what I usually do is I just go to facebookdown.net and I download this ad. Or if I'm right now want to get sales right away, I might use a picture, which isn't good long term, but it will get me sales. But again, you guys want to always start with videos because you'll build up that video view data, right? People who watch a specific amount of your video, you could retarget them and you could create lookalike audiences. I, I don't have time, I only have 72 hours, but we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna launch this campaign as soon as I find a product and I'll catch you guys after that. So after finding an ad for this product, we launched and right now it's 12.30 something in the midnight and I'm gonna show you guys how the first day went. Basically, we spent $150 and we got no sales, right? These are the interests that I chose to go with. Um, spent $150 getting no sales, right? It's only the first day. I still have two more days to go. 
or 48 more hours. What I'm going to do tonight is, I, is I'm actually going to just switch up the product page and I'm going to start testing a different product. You know, even though um, I spent $150, I could probably spend more and get my $180 you know, sale or maybe tomorrow I'll probably spend a little more as well. But what I need to do is actually I need to sit down and just think whether I want to continue running this product or not. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to run it for one more day. And if it's unprofitable, still, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch over to the tent because it's higher ticket and it actually appeals to me more. All I need to do is find an ad for it. I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes and I'll catch you in hopefully tomorrow or you know a couple of days. What is up, guys? We are back and basically my first product wasn't a winner, right? But I did end up getting some sales with it but I was unprofitable, it's heavily unprofitable. But good enough, I set up a couple of products on that store in the same niche, so I chose to keep the same exact targeting. I tested a new product on Friday, I spent $300, and I got back in return $1,020 back. And I was ecstatic, I was like, damn, this is, you know, I found, I found a winner. This is already 30, 72 hours in, so on the 12th, I actually don't think I even spent anything yesterday. I spent $7 yesterday, right? But throughout the day, what I was choosing to do is I was choosing to, you know, completely rebrand my store. And I, you know, this is my own money. I don't want to take the risk of, you know, running ads onto a product which is going to get me sales. So guys, actually one of these sales is from the mattress for $200, right? And I chose to raise the price because I was really unprofitable and I knew if I had to make a sale. So that was early on in the day. And I chose after that to just switch over to, the tent, which ended up doing really well, right? That was on the 13th. On the 14th, I was running only the tent and results starting to slow down a little. As you guys can see, I spent $500 and my mistake was that I went from spending $300, I just directly changed the campaign budget to $500, right? Even though the day before I only spent $300, but I was really profitable. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go straight to $500. I only have, you know, the 72 hours are up. But, you know, this is already basically four days in. Then I ended up doing pretty bad, right? I was um, at 1.74 ROAS. I was, I think, like $20 profit on the entire day, which is pretty disappointing, right? As you guys can see here. So as you guys can see, I was at $860. So you guys can see we're about $1,500 on Sunday for the month. So I'd say this challenge went well and not well at the same time um we failed basically in having a profitable store within 72 hours basically from wednesday to friday we were at actually we did succeed in a way since on friday in our last couple hours of the day we ended up getting some sales so the challenge was a success i'd say but i wasn't happy so i chose not to record anything you know on the 14th uh, we weren't we weren't profitable we were barely profitable which was yesterday and today after we finally you know a full day of running a full product you know i have these um a full day of running a full product and we ended up doing 3.63 roas that's what i call a success not when you change your product midway throughout the day right and you know the day's still going it's only nine o'clock but thank you guys for watching i hope you guys you know follow the same process let's see for a lifetime mm -hmm we are at a 2.44 ROAS, which is not bad at all, but you know, it's profitable, but let's calculate the exact profit we made. So we sold one mattress, which is $60. Then we had 13 products, which were selling at $75 a piece, which is the tents, 13 times 75. It's $970 in a product cost. And I'm also counting in the shipping. The, with the shipping at $70 in product cost. We subtract that from our sales, which is 3439 Subtract another $1,400 in ad spend. And I made just shy of $1,000, you know, for within, let's say, five days. So yeah, we ended up doing about $1,000 profit in five days, which is okay. If you guys are wondering with which interest did the best, it was... Camping plus Amazon.com ended up getting the most amount of sales, right? If you narrow it down by Amazon.com, it ends up doing pretty well. Camping in general, which is our niche, 
travel did well, engaged shoppers did well, outdoors did well. And, you know, at a ROAS of 248, we were doing okay. But thank you guys for watching this challenge. I, you know, in my heart, I feel like I failed, but I somewhat succeeded. If you enjoyed this challenge, then leave a like, subscribe, you know, put on post notifications because I hope I'll be posting every single day. If you guys want, you know, to challenge me something else, make sure you leave a comment down below. That being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.